We've all probably seen this video where a so-called angel saves a man from being hit by a truck by teleporting him to safety. It's pretty damn good, but is a well-known hoax. But it makes you think, could something like this actually happen? Although it sounds hard to believe, there are too many stories going around of people claiming to have travelled back and forth in time to be ignored. And since many professors and scientists have said that it's theoretically possible to time travel, then it cannot be ruled out as something that just happens in the movies. So here are five truly interesting cases that although do not prove 100% that time travel has happened, they will definitely get you thinking. The Montauk Project The Montauk Project is the name given to a series of secretive United States experiments that were conducted at Camp Hero in Montauk, Long Island. Now, it's thought there were many mysterious experiments conducted at the Air Force Base, such as psychological warfare, mind control, and extraterrestrial contact, but the one I want to talk about is the claims of time travel experiments and the consequences it had on the people involved. The project first started in 1943, not at Camp Hero, but in Philadelphia, where an attempt to create technology that would allow military vessels to become invisible was being worked on. The experiment was conducted on the Navy destroyer USS Aldridge, and it's claimed that the ship was bombarded with so much electromagnetic energy that it disappeared and then re-emerged for a few seconds off the coast of Virginia, before reappearing miles away in Philadelphia. The consequences of this experiment were tragic, because despite the ship itself being undamaged, rumour is that some crew members had died and were found fused to the metal parts of the ship. The few members who did survive the supposed teleportation were all mentally damaged, but the scientists and military officials were still keen to continue with these type of experiments, believing the potential was enormous. Congress apparently were unwilling to fund any further research, so it was decided that a secret installation would be created so the experiments could continue. The site that was chosen was an abandoned Air Force station codenamed Camp Hero, situated in Montauk, Long Island. The installation was completed in the early 1960s, and by the 1970s an array of bizarre experiments were being conducted in the underground facility. It's claimed that young men were being kidnapped and made to sit in specially developed chairs that were bombarded with energy waves, apparently enabling scientists to control their subjects' minds, allowing them to manipulate reality and focus their thoughts so intensely on subjects that they would physically materialise in front of them. The more experiments that were carried out, the more enthusiastic the scientists became. Wormholes were apparently being created so time travel could be tested, and by the 1980s it was all getting out of control and the project was finally dismantled and all of the outcomes were kept classified. It's said that employees and participants were brainwashed before they left so they would not recall what went on, and to this day there are conspiracy theorists who believe experiments are still being carried out deep underground at the base. Nowadays the service area is a state park, however it's believed the US military still own the ground beneath it, so I wonder if anything is still going on down there or if anything went on there in the first place. Some say it's all a hoax that's been exaggerated over the years, and others say the tests did happen and time travel and teleportation techniques took place. What do you think? Sir Victor Goddard For some, the name Sir Victor Goddard may sound familiar. He was the man who published one of the most famous paranormal photographs around, the Freddie Jackson Ghost, which is of his squadron in World War I. But he is also known for his amazing so-called time slip experience. Goddard was a senior commander in the British Royal Air Force and had a distinguished military career in the First and Second World War. He was even knighted in 1940, so when he wrote an article in his local paper in 1951 claiming he had travelled through time, it came as a bit of a shock to those who knew him. Goddard reported that in 1935, when he was flying from Edinburgh back to his airbase in Andover, he made the decision to fly over an abandoned airfield in Drem, located just outside of Edinburgh. When flying over, he reported that the base was battered and in a state of despair, with abandoned hangars, overgrown runways and even cows grazing there. Not long after, he claims he flew into a storm and describes how fierce winds and strange browny yellow clouds caused his plane to spiral. He managed to gain control and avoid disaster, but the storm had caused his plane to spin around and he found himself heading back towards Edinburgh. As he approached the abandoned airbase again, he realised it looked completely different. The hangars were intact, the runways were clear and four brand new planes were parked on the site. Goddard instantly recognised three of the planes as biplanes, but the fourth was a monoplane, a plane that in 1935 the RAF did not own. Also, all the planes were painted yellow and the ground staff were in blue, which were colours that were not standard in the Royal Air Force at this time. As Goddard changed course back to Andover, he claims he encountered the strange storm again, but this time he was prepared and managed to stay on track and complete his journey. Immediately after the incident, Victor spoke freely about his experience with friends and family, 
but he faced skepticism and for fear of being ridiculed and looked down upon despite his knighthood, he was reluctant to talk about the incident again until the newspaper article was released in 1951. It was a further four years before Goddard would see the airbase now renovated with the new RAF colour scheme of yellow planes and blue overalls on ground staff just like he had seen. So had this well respected military man actually travelled through time from 1935 to 1939 and then back again through this storm? Or is there another explanation like him being disorientated or making the whole thing up? One thing's for sure, Goddard strongly believed until his death in 1987 that he was one of the privileged ones who got a glimpse into the future. This next one is a little hard to believe but is well documented and certainly isn't the first time something like this has happened. It's a time slip story which is an incident in which a person appears to travel back in time to experience a past event. Well on January the 2nd 1950, 55 year old Miss E Smith apparently did just that. She was attending a party in the Scottish town of Brechin and after consuming a few cocktails she left the party and drove towards a home in the village of Letham. Driving conditions were not great as it was pitch black and a mixture of snow and rain made it an unpleasant journey and after driving around 2 miles her car skidded off the road and ended up in a ditch. Miss Smith was unharmed but had no way of contacting anyone so she had no choice but to walk home. About 8 miles in and now 2am at night she could see her village in the distance but could also see torches in the field to the right of her. As she walked closer she said they looked like Pictish warriors with reddish flames emitting from their torches. By now her dog who was with her was growling and reluctant to go any further. After watching for several minutes in amazement at what these men were doing in the field at 2am, Miss Smith said they were turning over bodies on the floor looking for their own dead. What she is believed to have witnessed is the aftermath of the battle of Nectans Mir that took place in 685 AD. Warriors defeated the invading Northumbrian army in that location and would have walked around afterwards looking for their dead. So was Miss Smith just confused from a car accident and after walking 8 miles or did she really experience some kind of time slip that allowed her to witness the aftermath of the battle of Nectans Mir? The Torrid Man The story of the Torrid Man is fairly well known but is fascinating nonetheless. It started in 1954 in Tokyo's Haneda airport when passengers disembarked from a plane that had just flown in from Europe and a well dressed man handed over his passport to be checked. The passport did not appear to be in the usual format and after further examination by the passport officer it appeared that the man was from a country that did not exist, a place called Tored. After being questioned by officials the mystery man explained that he was a frequent traveller and had flown to Japan on several occasions for business and the stamps on his passport proved this. When asked where Tored was he explained it was a country between France and Spain and when asked to point to it on the map he pointed out an area near Andorra and became distressed when he was unable to find Tored. But things get even stranger, the man produced details of his trip but when the officials checked with the company on the documents he had, they had no knowledge of him. His hotel reservation was also non-existent so we have no idea what he was going to do once he left the airport. Confused officials decided to hold him under guard at a nearby hotel while they made further inquiries to figure out what was going on. But by the next morning the man had disappeared from his guarded room and has never been seen or heard of again. There are a few conflicting stories but that is the official one that apparently came from the man who checked his passport. So who was this man from Tored? There are many theories the main one being that he was a time traveller from another dimension or parallel universe but some say he could have been a con artist with a fake passport or that the whole thing is made up and never even happened. What do you think? Unlike the Tored man case this next one is not well known. It happened in September 1974 when a man believes he was teleported 200 miles or 321 kilometers and lost over 5 hours of time. The unidentified man was traveling alone from San Diego to pick up his wife and son from Alabama to bring them back to their home in California. He drove east to follow what seemed the quickest route on the then State Highway 10 and just before midnight he arrived in Phoenix, Arizona where he filled his car with fuel. He continued on Highway 10 and after about 5 miles he could see a bright light on the horizon. As he tried to concentrate on his driving the light became more intense and he found himself staring into it. At this point he felt disorientated and decided to pull off at the next exit. He pulled over and saw a sign for Gillibend and realised he was in Gillibend, Arizona, over 321 kilometers from where he had just filled his car up 10 minutes ago. The man has no recollection of the 321 kilometers or 200 miles he would have had to travel and also realised he was missing 5 hours and 20 minutes of time yet his fuel gauge was still showing full. 
Believing he had zoned out and that the gauge must be faulty, he drove to the nearest gas station and attempted to refuel his car, but it took less than half a gallon before spilling over. To this day, the man has no memory of those missing hours and no explanation for what happened, although he believes the light in the sky could have something to do with it. Is it possible that he just zoned out whilst driving, was somehow teleported through time, or was he abducted and had his memory erased? Since there is not a whole lot of information on this case, I don't know what to make of it, but there are tons of stories of people who have reported similar events, where they have travelled miles without realising it and seem to have lost a few hours, but who knows, what do you think is going on?